Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I record screencasts. Um, one of the things that I took me a long time to figure out was how do you get both the onboard audio, like your system audio, recorded clearly and a mic input. Um, the way that I do that, and now this is Mac only, I don't know, there may be a different way for PC, but I use a program called Soundflower. Now you can download and install Soundflower um, you can find instructions for that on the internet if, uh, if you're not able to figure it out. But once you have it downloaded and open it up, it will uh, make a little flower icon up here. Now, I'm basically just going to show you my settings because if I actually did it in front of you, you wouldn't be able to hear me because I'm using it right now to record screencast. Um, basically, I have Soundflower. I have none checked on both channel 2 and channel 64. Then if you go to audio setup and do show audio window, I've created two, basically when you start out you only have these four options. This is what comes with the computer and this is what Soundflower has created. Um, I've created an aggregate device by clicking down here, create aggregate device. I created one and I've checked built-in microphone and I've checked Soundflower 2. Then I've created a multi-output device, same way, and I've checked built-in output, and I've checked Soundflower 2. Okay, And so basically what that's doing is it's making it so that when I tell GarageBand in preferences to output to the multi-output device, GarageBand is routing sound to my headphones and also to um, Soundflower Channel 2. And then Soundflower Channel 2 is being blended with the microphone by the aggregate device, which you saw over here. So the aggregate device is made up of Soundflower Channel 2, which is now the system output, and the microphone. Now, when you, I use QuickTime because it's free and simple to record my screencasts. So when you open up QuickTime Player, when you do new recording, see I have a screen recording going right now, but let's see, if you open new audio recording, you select for your microphone rather than the system microphone, you set, select the aggregate device. Now you can also use this if you don't want to record a microphone, you can just install Soundflower make a multi-output device that will output to Soundflower and then select Soundflower and then you'll only get system audio. That might be useful like if you're doing a, a recording of a game for example but you don't want to narrate it. So that's a simple way to do a screencast using all free software. So, um, QuickTime comes on the system and Soundflower you can download for free. Thanks, hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, leave a comment. Thanks.